Welcome to more movie plots. Spoilers ahead. In a possible flashback we see a couple lying beneath a tree in the woods, where outsider Ignatius Parrish promises to love Marin Williams for the rest of his life, but she just asks him to love her for the rest of hers. Ig wakes up lying on the floor hungover, and puts on a David Bowie record while he thinks about Marin dancing. Before being broken from his daydream by a news van and angry protesters outside his home. The townspeople suspect Ig of murdering Marin, one even tells him to ask God to save his soul but he tells her that he should ask the devil to punish the real killer instead. He drives to his family's home for sanctuary, where his father Derek and brother Terry want to help clear his name, but his mother Lydia gives him the impression that they think he's guilty. Later on in the day, Ig's best friend and lawyer Lee Turno shows up to work on their defense, since all the other lawyers want Ig to take a plea while Lee knows he is innocent. He tells Ig that all evidence found on Marin's remains were destroyed in a lab fire, therefore leaving them with nothing to prove his innocence Iggy vows to find the real killer himself. Ig goes to a bar where he is refused service as he makes the other patrons feel uncomfortable, but his childhood friend Glenna takes pity on him and pours him a drink, then tells him that she gets off at 5 but he turns her down. Glenna is then shown with a gathering of townspeople, holding a vigil at the tree where Marin's body was found. Marin's father Dale tearfully gives a speech about his daughter and also suspects Ignatius, as Ig listens on from a treehouse above them getting hammered. After everybody leaves Iggy gets mad and destroys the shrine, then pisses all over the candles. Glenna catches him and tells him to calm down, but Ig blames God for not caring about the good Christian Marin when she needed help. So Glenna takes the drunk Iggy home, where he wakes up in the morning beside her with two horns beginning to grow from his head. He freaks out and asks Glenna if she notices the horns, but she doesn't seem to care about them and begins acting weird. She asks him permission to eat a box of donuts, then when he says yes stuffs one in her mouth, before saying that nobody in town would sleep with her unless they were drunk like last night. She then sticks her face in the whole box of donuts while Iggy leaves to go see a doctor about the horns. In the waiting room at the doctor's a little girl is screaming her head off while her mother does nothing. She then leans over and asks Ig if she should kick her daughter's ass, divorce her husband, and go sleep with her black golf instructor again. Disturbed at the comments, Ig goes to the receptionist and returns a form, but she asks him permission to tell the mother to shut her kid up. Ig obliges, and the receptionist hops up and starts yelling at the mother, calling her daughter a pig and telling her to remove her. The angry mother goes nuts, so Iggy grabs her arm to calm her down and gets a peek inside her mind, seeing her ventures with a golf instructor. When the two snap out of it the little girl tells Ig that she hates her mother and wants to burn her in her bed with matches. Ig is brought in by a nurse to take his blood pressure but she just stares at his horns, she then tells him that she knows her boyfriend is seeing another girl and asks if she should crap in the girl's car. The doctor comes in so Iggy asks him why no one is freaking out about the horns, to which the doctor says that they are hard to remember, that he forgets them almost the same time he sees them. The doctor then tells him that he wants to sleep with his daughter's friend and offers him some booger sugar, but Ignatius declines and tells him to just saw the bloody horns off. The doctor puts Ig under anesthesia and he begins to dream of the first time he met Marin in a church. She reflected her broken necklace in Ig's direction then left it to be found by him. Later on young Iggy was hanging out by the docks with his friend Lee, Glenna, as well as his brother Terry and another kid named Eric. They set off cherry bombs and talked about Marin, which upset Glenna since none of the boys take notice of her. Eventually Eric was down to only one cherry bomb and told Ig that he'll give it to him if he rides down a log rail in a shopping cart. Ig accepted the challenge and rode off at just missing the logs, but they came together above him trapping him underneath. He drowned, but Lee jumped in and rescued him just in time, forcing Eric to hand over the reward. Lee fixes the necklace for Ig but tells him that he likes Marin as well, making Ig exchange the cherry bomb for it. Ig gives it back to Marin in church and the two begin hanging out with each other, but Terry runs up and tells them that the bomb blew up in Lee's hand, so they rush to the hospital to hear that Lee has lost two fingers, however is happy when he sees Marin. Ig introduced Marin to the treehouse that she would later be found dead under, and we see Terry watching the two from a distance. Ig confesses to Marin that it was Lee who fixed the necklace not himself, blaming himself for what happened to his hand. But she assures Ignatius that she left the necklace for him to find not Lee, and they have their first kiss, going on to spend many years together happily visiting the treehouse and sharing a mutual love for David Bowie. Iggy wakes up to see a saw sticking out of his horn and the doctor being ridden by the nurse right next to him. So he leaves and notices on his way out that the horns have gotten bigger. He decides to find a priest and ask what he can do to get rid of them but the priest is also convinced that he is the killer, and coldly suggests to go neck himself. What do you say? Iggy goes to see Lee for help but Lee can't see the horns and is not affected by them, making him think that he is just going mad and possibly could have killed her. 
Abe decides to go back to his parents' home and ask the truth from both of them, where Lydia says that she would be happier if he wasn't her son and asks him to leave forever. While Derek hates him for supposedly killing Marin, saying that she was the best thing about him, which Ig agrees. He also admits that he had someone in the forensic department burn the evidence found on Marin to protect him. He goes back to the bar for a drink but is harassed by reporters out front asking for a confession. So he tells them to fight each other with the winner getting the exclusive with him. So the reporters burst out into a brawl while Ig walks across the road and into the bar. The bartender threatens to kill him but Ig asks for a drink, then demands from everyone in the bar information on Marin's murder. But the patrons just start admitting to more sinful things, and one man even whips out his knob. A man says that the cops have a waitress feeding them information about Ig on the night Marin was killed, so Iggy leaves as the bartender lights the place on fire for the insurance claim. He gets back to his car to the reporter still fighting, and notices the engagement ring that he was planning on proposing to Marin with. The night of the murder, Ig told Lee and Terry that he was planning to propose to Marin at the diner, but when he went to meet with her she told Ig that she was moving to Los Angeles and that they should see other people. Ig thought she was cheating on him with someone and yelled at her until the manager told him to leave, then sped off in his car as Terry was arriving to celebrate the engagement. He was then woken up in the morning by Eric, now a police officer and asking when he last saw Marin as her body just turned up. Back in the present Ig returns to the diner to talk to the waitress from that night Veronica, who told the cops that Ig dragged Marin into his car and took her into the woods to kill her. But with Ig's power she admits that all of this is just so that Veronica can be featured as a key witness and get famous. Ig goes to see Terry who's playing with his band and talks to Glenna while waiting. She asks to blow Iggy then admits that she has always been in love with him, so he tells her to forget about him and make herself happy. After the performance Ig gets Terry's support as a witness from the diner, but Terry lets slip that he drove Marin home after Ig left. He insists that he didn't kill her, but Ig attacks him and looks into Terry's memories of the night. Terry drove a shaking Marin away from the diner, but she made him pull up in the pouring rain and ran into the woods. Terry waited for her but passed out, then woke up in his car the next morning with a bloody rock in his hand. He went looking for Marin and found her dead beneath the treehouse, so he wrapped the rock in his shirt and threw it in the lake to avoid being implicated. Before Ig can do any more damage to his brother Eric and his partner show up and arrest him. Eric then says that he wishes he could plant a piece of her clothing on Ig, then admits that they think about each other while jerking it. After being released the next day Ig notices Lee wearing Marin's necklace, who denies it at first but then says she gave it to him and that they were in a relationship. Ig breaks down thinking Lee was the one that Marin was leaving him for and decides to go see her father. Dale points a shotgun at Ig and orders him to get off his property, but Iggy tells him that if he really wanted to shoot him the horns would have brought it out of him. He asks if Marin was seeing anybody or mentioned leaving him, but Dale says that she would never be unfaithful and kicks him off his property. Ig attempts to forcibly remove the horns but has no success, then has a surprise when a group of snakes slither over to him and up his arm. With the power of serpents now on his side, Ig catches Veronica leaving work and uses them to bite her face, maiming her for her vanity and ensuring that it will be a long time until she heals. Ig approaches Eric and his partner in their car and suggests that they blow each other, so the two admit that they're gay and that they're in love, then proceed to strip down and make out. Ig goes to Terry's place and gets mad at him for not helping him when he was arrested, forcing Terry to consume every pill he has and hallucinate the same feelings that Marin felt as she died, not to kill him but just to torture him a little. Down by the docks the next day, Ig meets up with Lee and snatches the necklace from him, finally revealing to Lee Ig's horns having been protected by the cross the whole time. Lee outright admits that it was him who really killed Marin, saying that he regrets ever saving Iggy from drowning when they were kids. So Ig chokes him and looks at his memories. Marin suspected that Ig was going to propose, and confided in Lee that she was going to break up with him. On the night of the diner, Lee followed Terry and Marin until they stopped by the woods, then found Marin who had gone to the treehouse and tried to kiss her but she pulled back. He thought she left her boyfriend for him but Marin says she loves Iggy more than anything in the world, and that she broke up with him for personal reasons. So Lee had his way with her before hitting her with a rock and leaving her to die, then planning it on Terry when he fled the scene. With Ig in shock, Lee grabs a chain and whips Ig in the back with it, over and over again until putting him in his car and dousing him with kerosene. The snakes surround them but do nothing, as Lee sets his friend on fire and Ig accelerates into the lake. The news reports that Marin's murder has been solved but that the killer's body wasn't recovered. As Ig emerges from the lake covered in burns and returns to Dale's home, Dale now realizes that Ig didn't kill Marin as he felt no satisfaction hearing of his death, so he invites him inside and gives him a key that his daughter wanted him to have. When trying to return his daughter's cross, Dale says that Ig will need it, so he puts it around his neck causing all his burns and horns to subside. 
Ig goes to the treehouse and opens a lockbox, revealing a note inside from Marin in the event of her death. Marin was dying of the same cancer her mother did and was pushing Iggy away to protect him, after seeing how bitter it made her father she didn't want him to go through the same thing. She loved Ig so much that she wanted him to find someone that he could have a family with. Marin knew that he would want to marry her even more if he found out, throwing his future away just to take care of her. Ig visits a recovering Terry in the hospital and apologizes for what he did, then tells him that Lee is the real killer and that he's going after him. With everyone seemingly forgetting what happens during their horn episodes with Ig, Lee joins him for a walk having forgotten about their fight. They go to the spot where Lee killed Marin, and Ig tries to get him to confess, but Eric appears with a shotgun having been brought by Terry. Eric now believes Lee is the killer as he told everyone Ig was dead, but Lee trips Eric and grabs the shotgun. He shoots Terry in the leg, then during a scramble with Ig he blows Eric's head off. Lee wins the struggle, so Ig embraces the evil and takes off the cross necklace, growing angel wings for a few seconds before they catch fire and burn away, turning Ig into a demon. He takes Lee's best shots with the gun and a pitchfork, then impales him with his horn and throws him against a tree. With Lee now gutted and bleeding out, the snakes all slither up and constrict him. Then one goes through him and down his throat, killing him. With Ig having embraced the devil one last time and saying that revenge is all-consuming, he collapses next to his brother and turns to stone. Ig and Marin are shown in the same scene from the beginning, laying under the tree suggesting they reunited in death. And the movie ends. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.